I think we should go and check it out. We might as well do what we can. Yeah. And if anything, at least maybe we can stall them until the police arrive. Alright then. Let's go. Who's there? Oh, just an old friend. What are you doing here? What do you want? Well, normally giving away one's plans would be a fool's move. But, seeing as you won't be around for much longer, I think I can get away with it. First, I made a machine that can make copies of anyone. Matching in appearance, behavior, and everything else. But these aren't just any ordinary clones. For whenever they find someone who is not a clone, they will take a sample of their DNA, send it back to me, and I'll get a clone of them. Then they proceed to destroy the original. By doing this, soon everyone will be cloned. The only difference? They're programmed to obey my every command. By doing this, I can conquer the world without any authorities finding out and living to tell the tale, and without losing a single potential slave. Somehow I don't think you're going to get away with this. Well, I wish I could say the same thing, but there's nothing you can do about it. Just look to both sides. No. So far I've only made two clones. As tests. They seem to work pretty well, so I put them to use. Guess who those two clones are? No. You've been led into a trap. Good luck getting out of this one. Uh, looks like it's the perfect time to demonstrate. Inspector Stuffing, as my eternal servant, I order you to fix the light. Hold on to him. His voice is different. They, they really are. No. Where was I? Ah, yes. I am just about to unleash a lot more clones. And once that happens, I'll be unstoppable. Servants, my clones, they obey me every time. What? Nice try. But I, I thought you were clones. Well, we demonstrated our acting training. Well, we ran into our own clones. But Inspector Stuffing's quick thinking was enough to allow us to escape. So, what happened to the clones? I carefully analyzed and disconnected their microdrives. Yeah, they can't run without those. But we wanted to find out what was going on, but we never expected we'd end up acting like clones. Fortunately, as an announcer, and with Inspector Stuffing being a part-time public speaker, we didn't have any troubles with it. But how did the light turn off? Well, the police are going to be here in a few minutes, so I think we can leave this to them now. Let's just go to bed and then return to our much-needed vacation. Yeah, I'm not used to staying up until 3.30 in the morning doing random investigating.